Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And I got to say, this is probably the most requested video I have ever gotten before through all of my channels, literally every single channel, multiple times per hour. People are saying, Graham, you got to watch this video from producer Michael, the one, go and react to the house. So as a real estate agent in Los Angeles, I have seen this thing being built for years. I think they started construction of this house almost eight years ago. And we knew going into this, this lot that they built this home on was like the best premier lot in Bel Air. It's like you literally can't get a better location, a better square footage, a better view, a better anything than this place. And that's why it's called The One. Well, guess what? Producer Michael went there and did a full on tour of this house. I have not seen it since it's been completed. So with that said, guys, let's first make sure to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Wow, I'm ready for it, let's see. Look at that guys, 105,000 square feet. This is absolutely insane. Like you have to think, mansions by the way are 5,000 square feet. You get a mansion for 5,000. 10,000 square feet is like, okay, you got Kardashian money. This is 105,000 square feet. Multiply that by 10 and you're still not as big as what this house is. How is producer Michael able to be the first person to be able to do this? You would think, by the way, it would be someone like Ryan Serhant, who has like, you know, a similar following, but th but those are all real estate people. And by the way, if Niall, who's the builder of the house, uh, wants me to go and tour it, I would be more than happy to do that on the main channel. But uh, so Niall, if, if for any reason you're watching this, let me know. I'm, I'm more than happy to go and check this place out. I would love to see it. Just look at the lot that he built this property on. It's rare in Bel Air to get a flat parcel like this at the very top of the hill that has no one looking in on you. So from a development standpoint, this has to be one of the best lots in, the, in, in all of Los Angeles. No cameras have seen this house before in its entirety. Ever, ever, ever. Is that correct? That's right. So this you is the a first, world Michael. debut. So we got a um, it's like a moat that goes stone door. It. Biometric. We have the latest technology in the house. Wow, look at the door. Imagine that. Listen, I have never in my entire career in real estate of, of, of almost 13 years now, never seen a door like this before. Ever. To be able to sell a house like this, you need stuff like this that is truly one of a kind that no one else has, and this is so far it. Let me show you over here. So we'll come and go this way. This is a, all, a lot of the artwork we have, the sculpture done original for this house. This artwork here is from Michael Phelps. It's called Unity, and it was made for the house. It turns 360 degrees. Did he say this artwork is from Michael Phelps? This artwork here is from Michael Phelps. Maybe he does art all of it. I don't, I don't know. I have to ask you a question. Do you get lost in here? I don't. I mean, and, and for me, it, it doesn't even feel big anymore because I've done it so many times. But, you know, it's I know I, it is and big. And also, but... one thing you guys need to know, 10 years in the making, right? 10, 10 years. years December 2012 house. is when I first bought this land. He bought this place at really like the bottom of the market as a plot of land. There used to be like a few old structures on this house. And I know because I had a client who was interested in this lot, but uh, I think he had already gotten under contract at that time. He scored on this place. He got the best deal. But really quick, I gotta say, even though I can't afford a property like this in real life, I can in my new favorite app, who also happens to be the sponsor of today's video, and that would be Landlord Go. They're a game where you could buy and sell properties in your area virtually and here's how it works. We're gonna open the app and use this guy to go wherever we want to go and buy some properties. The travel agent, by the way, is a lockdown feature that allows you to go anywhere you want from the comfort of your own home. And we'll buy this one and this one because they're the same color. And on here, buying properties of the same color gives me additional return on my investment. Then once these properties are mine, I could finally collect rent or upgrade them to get even more rent. Plus, if I want, I can also list these properties on the marketplace for other people to bid on them. Here's the game leaderboard, and as you can see, I'm ranked here in the US and here in Las Vegas. Landlord also has this cool AR feature that allows you to go around your own city and hunt for properties. I'll actually have Jack go and explain it to you because he's behind the scenes right now editing the video. Okay, so I'm actually out in the wild right now and I'm gonna use the AR feature on Landlord Go to buy up laundry time. 
Okay, so this is laundry time. You can see it through the lens and then I'm gonna buy as many as I can afford. And that's how you use the AR feature to buy up property and back to you, Graham. I've just found this app super fun to play around in my free time. And it's a pretty quick way to familiarize myself with Las Vegas in the process. So if you wanna try this game out for yourself and become a virtual landlord, use the link down below in the description. And you'll also receive free in-game cash and a special bundle pack that's unique to the link down below. So thank you guys so much. And now, of course, with that said, let's get back to the video. This office, you'll see every single wall in this office touches water. So it's like it's floating. I, I'm six foot two. How high are these ceilings now? Uh, they're probably 24 feet just in the office, but the higher spaces are higher. And all of the built-ins are from Italy, hand-rubbed lacquer, all shipped from different parts of Italy. This office is incredible. I mean, you, you literally look at this thing, it's like, you're blown away. You have a balcony. You have a balcony that's like a Romeo and Juliet balcony. So when you're working, you could be serenaded. You could literally climb Rapunzel's hair from that. And the former living room, I designed it like uh, the Plaza Hotel in New York, where you could have multiple meetings at the same time. Check this out. Is this not the Four Seasons? And the view today is a lot of overcast, but... The only downside of this, I will say, it looks a bit sterile. And I know it's like, well, what do you expect 105,000 square feet? It's like you could have like five, 10 families in there. You would never see each other. It just, it looks a little too formal for me, like a little too hotel-y. But again, what do you do when you have that much square feet? You got to do something. So below, we have probably the world's most expensive running track. This of, is going to this. be a first. I never <laughs> walk on grass. This is real grass and I'm going to walk on it. Why, are you scared of grass? No, I don't want to get dirt into the beautiful <laughs> oh, white floors. Worry. I almost thought for a second he didn't want to get his shoes dirty. Because look, look at those shoes. Gosh. This is Simone Condes. And it's spectacular. I mean, this is yeah. truly spectacular. I hope and, the and camera at night, does and it at justice. Night, at night, every one of these Murano crystals light up. Every one. Imagine playing baseball in the backyard and just one wrong swing into that thing. It's, it's gone. That, that's the backyard. You do not play any sports in. So these are all for the large format wines. And it's all temperature controlled. I've never been in here before. <laughs> But so the, like the big, big, big bottles will go here. And then the, 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 the bigger bottles will be here all the way up. And it's all temperature controlled. Oh, uh, wow. Imagine they had the little racks for the big bottles. You know the bottles that they have at the club, like the big old ace of spades? They have racks for those. And those things could be like fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 each for one. And you got racks for like seven of them per row. So we have another, another art piece. All of these were made overseas with... with, with our designs, this one goes all three levels from the top all the way down to the bottom and it's free floating chains. By the way, property taxes alone on $500 million would be about $6 million a year. Yes, you heard me correctly. $6 million a year would go towards property taxes on a $500,000 house. Not to mention you're probably spending another, I don't know, $30,000 a month just on like landscape, maintenance, housekeeping. So, so another $1,000 a day, just bare minimum, just to maintain this house. This is really cool. This is the smoking room, the cigar room. And I did special ventilation here. I don't, I don't smoke cigars, but um, <laughs> Look at this, this one. has all vintage Playboys. Wow. Ooh, I love that artwork. That's kind of like illuminated like that. I want artwork like that. Not, not like Playboy, but like, I think something like that would look so cool with just some old vintage artwork, like some black and white artwork in the back. Awesome. So, what, what, what would you call this room This here? is our art gallery. So this has special art lighting that light the art. These are benches that walk like you would in the gallery. So this is, this could be an office. And, and, and guys, he, he just wanted to miss this part. Wow, you know, I'm surprised at this level he didn't have like some NFTs, just like some digital artwork zoned in on there. It's like it's just some wild display piece. It's still incredible. Uh, it's spectacular. There, there's so much. I mean, like here's another bedroom or since this is off the motor court, this could be another office. It's incredible. He didn't even want to show us this stuff, but I'm looking at this like if this were the master bedroom, I'd be like, wow, that's a, that's a cool master bedroom, guys. And this is like the stuff he doesn't even want to show you. Just wait until we get to the master. Hold on, hold on. This is, this is a, a kitchen that no one will ever use. It's amazing. 
absolutely amazing. I mean, you can't not show this stuff. Look, look at this. Uh, and that's the pantry. Oh yeah, this is, this is a pantry that no, one, no one's ever going to use. This is just... Oh, my goodness. Wild. Yeah, you know what? The thing with Niall is that he's so used to this stuff. He's like, oh, yeah, that kitchen. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to see that. Let's go to the other stuff. That any, like, any normal person would see this and be blown away. At, like, the, the guest bedroom would be jaw-dropping for, like, 99% of the population. All electronics and stuff. That's wild. Wow. Wow. I want to see the electronics room. Is no one else interested in that? I want to see all the skeleton of the house and just like everything that keeps it going. And this is one of the five swimming pools? Yeah, there's seven total swimming pool water features total. This is the main pool. It has an infinity on three sides. This is a hot tub. Seven swimming pools. You don't need seven swimming pools. But but again, like, what do you do with all that space? Like, you could only put so much square footage in a house, right? So you got to do something to fill up the space. What do you do? Seven swimming pools. And beyond this, I'll show you what we talked about earlier. This is the running track. You know what I would say, honestly, that I, I just don't see in houses like this? It's just like really lush, dense landscaping. Does that not happen? Like what about creating like a little tropical forest with like some paths that go through and you have like a, a really cool romantic sitting area in the middle with like a big table and lights all hanging around with palm trees and just like a foresty sort of vibe. You don't have that in any of these. Maybe that's for a reason. Maybe people don't appreciate that. I love that sort of stuff. Look at the running track. Oh, you weren't kidding. No. That's a real running track. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Who would, who thinks of that stuff? That's nuts. That's the sort of stuff that like, you know, you're up at 2 a.m. You can't sleep. You're like, I need a running track on my house. That's nuts. I mean, how many people is this hot tub for, Niall? I'll let you know soon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's like for 50 people in a hot tub. If you've ever seen a barbecue like this, you let me know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they so, don't have these in hotels. No, this is nowhere. I've never seen a barbecue. Look at this. <laughs> now, normally in my videos, I open things and say, this is a nice, I, I don't even know what three quarters of the things are. Wow. Yeah, now he was, a, you have a full on restaurant outside. I'll give you a little surprise that you've never seen this in all your life, but check that out. That is the, I want to say my, oh my got, the master bedroom swimming pool with walls of glass. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. A master bedroom swimming pool that looks like an aquarium style. Unbelievable. I, 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 I kid you not, I'm looking at this just in awe. I'm speechless. We're coming to the nightclub right now and if you look over here, you can see there's a gate from the street. If you wanna have people come in from the street to the nightclub, we're gonna go through the back way. <laughs> People get coming from the street to the nightclub. Oh, man. Who buys this place? Like, who, who has the money where you, you want to live in the one? Because here's the thing. Not only do you have to have money, but you also have to have the style to have the most expensive home in the, in, basically, in the entire world. This isn't just having the nicest house on the block. You're having the nicest house in, in the country, in the world. This, this is just a, a one-off piece, so you have to be the type to want the most expensive of something and be able to afford it. So this is my artwork, and I have one in a glass case in my I other house. That. It's a giraffe, anatomically correct giraffe skeleton. I love that. I love it. See, this is the sort of stuff when you got money, you're like, what is that? that that's an a, a atomically correct giraffe sculpture. It's like, what? Gosh. I'm walking on water, literally. So this is the entrance from the street right to the nightclub so you if you want to have an event only not in your house you could have valet from the street they'll come up here and then i'll show you the nightclub that is insane absolutely wild so you come in here as a coat check here oh my gosh so this is the this is the fire seating area with two fire pits this is the <laughs> nightclub look at this shall i do the reveal okay here's the reveal so here's one of the most- I recognize the color blue. This is in your yeah. other house, the same color. It's here's one of the most- Wow, he's not kidding. Look at that. Your neighbors are gonna love that though. And there's just a, a backlog of cars going down all the way to Sunset Boulevard for your nightclub that you're charging probably $20,000, $30,000 a ticket for. We have not only a dry fire seating area, but a wet fire seating area. So two of these pods 
have fire pits in them and we have water that will wash over on all sides and from up above. So when you're here, you'll come here. Wow, but that's not one of those things you wanna be drinking. It's like imagine someone in heels, drinking all night, trying to walk into that, guaranteed somebody at some point has fallen into the pool. That's a lawsuit. And everything in this house is your creation, your ideas. Well, Paul McLean was the architect, but everything in this house was generally all of my ideas. And I don't want to ever, ever say it was all me because there were hundreds of people who made this possible. But yes, it was me. I don't want to say it was uh, just me because uh, there were hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people involved in this. But, but yeah, no, mainly it was me. I try to do everything to turn everything around. Like I know, and unfortunately in LA, I know a lot of the dudes are scumbags here and I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna turn all the dudes into good people. How so are you gonna do that? One of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them on their feet. So check out what I did here. What? what? Wow, what an assumption to make. So, so guys in LA, okay, D-bags, okay, fine. He's gonna, how is he gonna change that with, with a $500 million house? So this is the her side. This is the toilets and this is the sinks. And see these, these uh, plates right here, that's for a monitor, right? And then if you come into the, his side. <laughs> Can you believe these this? Are no. the, these are the urinals. And I'm gonna have cameras here looking at the guys. You're gonna have cameras? Cameras looking at the guys putting the image in the girls' bathroom. Wait, what? So he's gonna have cameras of the guys in the girls' bath? Through, oh. Oh, I get that. I would, I just straight up just wouldn't go to the bathroom then. <laughs> Out of the box thinking. That's a normal thing like a, a guy would do. Now I'm thinking like the girl. I actually hope he's joking on that. That's kind of creepy. You know what? Not only this will be the first, but if we do this tour nonstop, it will also be the first. Right. Like we've never done this all, all the way through at one time. Yeah, I feel like you got a break for lunch to go through this house all the way. Imagine living there. You have to take a nap in one of those rooms before like just making it to the, to the master bedroom. It's like a Mount Everest trek to be able to go somewhere. This is also very difficult, these free flowing stairs that How are basically in the air. How many staircases are there in the house, do you know? Um, there's, I think, Three, like six, I don't know. Yeah, those stairs are expensive because they got to do that with steel and a lot of reinforcement that's not cheap. We come up here and this is the first thing you see framed directly in the middle of your eyeline is the Getty. Wow. Every little bit of this house was thought of just before any like ground was bulldozed. Everything was already planned out meticulously. This is the balcony for the library. Hey guys, how are you down there? <laughs> Sick, this is really high up. Yeah. How do you reach anything on those top shelves though? That would be impossible. Once it's up there, you're not getting it. Adam, it's overwhelming. It is. It's, it's truly overwhelming. It, it is spectacular, Niall. You must be so proud of yourself for achieving this. How is this a guest bedroom? To me, this would be like the main bedroom of the entire house, and it's just incredible. You want to go, they're going to get bored, you know? Just, I'll just have a quick peek in. Just bedrooms that are gorgeous and the bathroom's spectacular. Yeah. Have a quick peek. <laughs> okay, come up here. So, this is the secondary entrance. Look at the sink. Oh, oh, and oh. the. Those toilets are so freaky. Anytime you get near them, they'll. Like that, they're like seven grand a toilet. Welcoming toilet. So okay. this is the secondary entrance to the sky deck, but here we have a putting green. <laughs> but of course, what would it be without a putting green? Why wouldn't you have one? Wow, look at the privacy you get too with some of the ficus trees around it. Look at that. that that's probably one of the best views in the entire city of Los Angeles. You literally see everything. There's the reservoir over there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, wow, you get to see the Bel Air Reservoir. For those that don't know, it's like this big lake of water that, that you should not ever swim in, but it looks very pretty. Whatever you're doing here, I want to be part of it. Because oh, and you will be, and you know this what, imagine this, like you could never think of anybody that has a YouTube channel would have more impressions than a network. Like, That's true. Like, so I'm trying to mix it up in ways that no one has ever thought to do. And I have everybody coming to me. Like, everybody wants to be here. You know what? He's kind of right. Uh, in terms of exposure, 
Him going the YouTube route, I kid you not, he got two and a half million views in a week. This is the way to do it. It's not going through all like the formal you know, news networks and PR and whatnot. No, I honestly believe he made the right choice of going through a YouTube channel for a lot of exposure. Look at the, almost 3 million views now. Michael, please give me a sign off right now so that we can skip to part two. Yeah, guys, you know what? Uh, let's do this because this is such a long video. We're going to break this up just like they are. So because this is part one of the video, how about this? Just make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And then, uh, actually, you know what? In the next like two videos, I will do the part two. We'll be able to see the uh, biggest bedrooms, all the other crazy stuff. I'm sure this house is like, every house has to have a bowling alley. There's gonna be some nutty stuff in this house. So guys, just make sure to subscribe. And very shortly, within the next like few days, you're gonna see the part two of this. So make sure just to subscribe and then I'll give you my thoughts on the rest of the house because I know this thing is gonna be absolutely insane. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to destroy the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I post it pretty much daily, so if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there. As in the podcast, The Ice Coffee Hour, new episodes being posted every single Sunday. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.